Vitamin E succinate in the nutritional management of cancer patients and cancer survivors. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, it's, it's not a well-known fact, but vitamin E succinate is the most anti-cancer form of vitamin E. The other forms of vitamin E just don't measure up. So vitamin E succinate should be the form of vitamin E that's in your multiple vitamin. It should be, I think, a dose for prevention reasons, 400 IUs a day. I give cancer patients, and a lot of doctors do who work with cancer patients, who I know personally, give their cancer patients 1,600 to 2,000 IUs a day, sometimes up to 2,500 IUs a day, of vitamin E succinate, no other form of vitamin E. And that's because vitamin E succinate has some very unique uh, anti-cancer properties. So in prostate cancer cells, it's been shown to encourage these cancer cells to commit suicide. It inhibits the rate at which they can replicate. It blocks the ability of testosterone to get into the cell to overstimulate the cell. It helps to get the, the cell to commit suicide you know, using a, different pathways. Um, other forms of vitamin E don't do this. In breast cancer cells, we see that it increases the sensitivity of what are called the death receptors, where the immune cells can now stimulate the death receptors on the cancer cell, and the cancer cell will commit suicide more effectively. It also tones down these certain receptors on the cell surface. They're called epidermal growth factor receptors. Forty percent of women with breast cancer have too many of these receptors. These receptors are telling the cell to keep dividing. Vitamin E has been shown to silence those receptors, helping to slow down the rate of cell division and also block the ability of, of tumors to get access to additional blood supply that they need in order for metastasis to occur. They, it's hard to make drugs that can do this. And, there's all, and other uh, cancer studies have shown in terms of experimental evidence that it does similar things in other types of cancer cells, encouraging them to commit suicide, slowing down the rate of cell division. So here's my recommendation. Because there's no vitamin E succinate in food, that from day to day for general health, I like people to take a high potency multiple vitamin that's antioxidant enriched with 1,000 milligrams of vitamin C, 400 I use of vitamin E succinate, and then vitamin A at 2,500 I use, beta carotene 15,000 I use, bioflavonoids 50 milligrams, lycopene powder 6 milligrams, a B50 complex, vitamin D at 1,000 I use, calcium 500 milligrams, selenium 200 micrograms. These work, nutrients all sort of work synergistically to help reduce cancer risk and prevent other degenerative diseases. But in cancer patients and survivors, they need to take vitamin E levels up to more significant doses, 1,600, 2,000, 2,500 I use a day. You say, where is this research presented? In the review presented by Dr. Prasad and fellow researchers uh, who are at the Center of Vitamin and Cancer Research, the Department of Radiology at the University of Colorado Health Sciences, in 2003, the authors state this. Since it has been demonstrated that vitamin E succinate in combination with dietary micronutrients like vitamin A and vitamin C and, carot and carotenoids is more effective in reducing the proliferation of tumor cells in culture than individual agents and enhancing the effect of some chemotherapy agents. So it even enhances the killing effect of certain chemotherapy drugs. We have, rec we have recommended the use of vitamin E succinate in combination with dietary micronutrients as an adjunct to standard therapy in the treatment of cancer in humans. These, these, these authors have provided an excellent review of the anti-cancer properties of vitamin E succinate for health practitioners who are interested in further reading on this subject. It would be reference number 15 in my review article. So what I want you to do to understand this better is click on the, the link below to read my article on vitamin E succinate and cancer. All the details are there to help you understand why this form of vitamin E is so important as an adjunctive measure in people that have already had cancer who are in the process of fighting cancer. Um, remember at machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers, you'll see footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads, resources, videos I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All of my review papers and teaching materials have all the scientific references in them, so you'll see you're getting only evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use machinohealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.